Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Shayla, if this is your first time here. So in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you my updated foundation routine because over the past few months, your girl has upgraded, okay? I've learned some things, okay? No, but really I have. All of a sudden, like all these techniques that I feel like aren't really new to a lot of makeup artists are kind of new to me. Well, I've known about them, but I didn't know they were that booming. So the past couple months, my makeup routine has just, Season 10, boom, boom, pow. You know, well, at least that's how I feel. You know, my confidence, season 10, boom, boom, pow. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys my updated foundation routine, and we're just gonna go through the steps of foundation, highlight, contour, beat face, season 10, snatch, okay? And season 10 means you pop in, just in case you guys are new. You know, season 10 is like, you know, you that chick, like, boom. But look, come on in, come into my pores. All right, so I'm gonna start with the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. I'm on one today, okay? Like it took me about two hours to set up my lights and my mic because it was tripping. Okay, so now I'm just like really excited that I'm actually filming. <laughs> I'm in the new crib and when you move lighting equipment, it's just, it can be like a hot mess. Not just lighting, camera, everything is a hot mess. It can be a hot mess. Okay, Tatcha Primer, boom. All right, new foundation alert. Well, I think I used it in my last uh, video, but this is a Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Foundation. This is brand new. Um, I am just here for this because it makes the skin look super natural, and I partnered with Makeup Forever to bring you the reasons why I love this foundation, okay? Uh, let me actually just, let's just, let's just apply it because you guys need to see what's happening here. So it comes in a squeeze tube. This foundation's actually available at Sephora, and it comes in 40 shades. Inclusivity, hallelujah. So I really like that this foundation gives me coverage, but it doesn't look like thick or cakey. It just looks super like smooth and velvety. And I was talking to you guys about this in my last video. Um, like it just looks like, you know, like my skin. Like it looks like I could just put this on without any powder and boom. Look at that velvety, smooth texture. Oh, how about I tell you guys what color this is? So this is Y505 and this is like pretty much like my perfect match. The shade below this I could also wear. That's how you know a brand is like taking care of business when it comes to foundation shades if you can wear a few shades. Like when I get darker, I'm gonna be able to wear it. When I get, well, I'm not about to get lighter, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> if I get a little bit of tan, there'll be a color for me. Oh, this is cute, see? So I'm gonna layer and add just like a little bit more for more coverage. So this is buildable. A couple weeks ago, was it a couple weeks ago? Maybe a month ago, I actually went to the Makeup Forever Masterclass and Desi was a model, Etienne was the makeup artist and he was giving all the tips and tricks. So needless to say, I've been sleeping on this foundation because I went to the master class. I was like, dang, that looks bomb. And I think sometimes we just get like stuck in our ways. So I wasn't really like using the foundation. I think I used it once and then, I don't know, I played myself basically. Um, so the past couple of weeks, I've just really been into it. Like I woke up, hello, oh yes. So this is without any powder. You can kind of see how it's nice and it just looks natural. Like when I look in the mirror, I'm like, ooh. It looks like skin, it doesn't look too matte. Okay, wait, are we even? Do we like it? Do we like it? Maybe a little bit more on my forehead. This foundation is also a 24 hour wear foundation, which I don't wear my foundation for 24 hours, but some of y'all, you know, might be thotting and bopping all night, might need that 24 hour, <laughs> for real. Some of y'all be out all night, okay, not me. I go to sleep at 11. Hmm. All right, next I'm gonna use the Jouer High Coverage Liquid Concealer. So I'm really into this concealer. It's full coverage, it's kind of thick. Like, I'm not even gonna lie, it's a little on the thick side, but this is for those of you who like thickness. <laughs> I think there's the coffee kicking in. Maybe I need to lay off the coffee a little bit, you know? You know what I'm saying? All right, I'm just gonna blend out the concealer. Oh my God, I'm not even telling you guys the colors. That was ginger. And I'm just gonna blend this out using my LC Cosmetics sponge. This is like, this is a really good sponge, I love it. And LC Cosmetics is owned by Lilith. Small businesses, come on, support the small businesses. So we're just blending this out. This sponge isn't really damp. I kind of like it to be a little on the damp side. I just like kind of forgot, I feel like. 
Like I literally just didn't do it. But I always clean my sponge. Well, I didn't wear makeup yesterday. That's probably why. But I usually clean my sponges after I use them and so they'll be like damp and ready for the next day. Make sure to blend it all the way to the inside, kind of on the side of your nose there. So don't stop like here. Bring it all the way to the side of the nose until you see like a natural contour kind of happening. Like you can see like there's a space here where my skin is still showing. That's what we want, folks. This foundation is gonna be like my, my vacation foundation for my next trip yes yes all right so whatever's left over on the sponge i'm just gonna put a little bit like right here a little bit right here i'm still gonna contour but i still like to like just add like a little bit all right i'm gonna contour with the jouet concealer so it's the same concealer except hazelwood and i'm actually gonna apply this this is actually okay so i i've been ugh, learning so much from makeup artists like celebrity makeup artists so etienne was saying that when you contour was it etienne that told me i think so uh, when you contour to like contour higher. So before I used to contour like down here. No, we need to bring it like up here like that. I'm gonna contour my five head too. So see how high it is? So when you blend it out, and I'm using the same brush I use for foundation, it's better to higher versus lower. See, makes your cheekbones look mm, snatched. Season 10, reunion, sitting on the couch, throwing shade, makeup, hair, done. This concealer does dry fast, so. You know, you gotta be kind of quick with it. Let's just go through here and add a little more. Ooh, look at that. When I really wanna, you know, get crazy with the contour, I'll connect the contour to my uh, mouth right here and blend it out. But sometimes that's like a little too much, you know, with concealer. All right, I'm gonna set my foundation with, well, not my foundation, my concealer, I should say, with the Studio Fix C6. I just love how this looks so much. I'm gonna use a flat brush. This is the Smashbox flat brush. I think it's like a cheek brush. And I'm gonna put a decent amount, tap off the excess and put it right under my eyes. I'm kind of like pressing it and packing it on. Don't put too much on though. <laughs> I feel like on this side, I kind of like just went a little crazy thinking about how I'm about to be highlighting and contoured. Yeah, just a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, so whatever's left over on the brush, there's like barely anything. I'm gonna put a little bit on my forehead. Sometimes if I put too much powder, too much of a light powder, I should say, up here, it kind of looks like crazy. <laughs> looks like I have like a light, you know, spot and you want it to be kind of natural. So yeah, learn from my mistakes. Okay, so on a typical day like everyday natural makeup i will do the guerlain bronzer by itself and that's it but when i want to take it up a notch i'll do the guerlain bronzer and the studio fix powder so it's like i'm kind of setting the darker areas of my face with the bronzer and then i'm going to go through with the studio fix um, in a darker powder to really like add contour like the, the the real deal you know all right so this is buildable cheek brush from smashbox and i am just gonna Kind of put a lot on the brush and we're gonna apply this over the darker concealer and this brush is super how would you describe this it's not like thick it's not dense and we're just gonna apply this everywhere jawline and i love the warmth that this um, bronzer gives my skin you know what this black hair just does something like every time like i go from blonde to black i'm like yeah, black hair. I had a moment over the summer where I just wanted to have that honey colored blonde hair, but I think that's just gonna be like a seasonal thing. You know, I don't know if I could do that all year long. Mm -mm, mm -mm. No, I don't think we can. Baking with a powder puff is life changing, makeup changing. Okay, so I'm gonna use a powder puff and I'm gonna dip it into Kunifa powder. Uh, should I use Kunifa or Blondie? Yeah, we'll use Kunifa powder from Huda Beauty. Any setting powder will do. This one has like a little bit of a yellow undertone, so I don't know, it's just here, so I'm gonna use it. There's like a few different setting powders that I like to use. So let's just dip powder puff. I always tap off the excess on the lid, and then I'm just gonna blot it under the eyes. Bake, bake, bake. 400 degrees, y'all. Mm -hmm. Put a little here, put a little bit here. So you wanna fold the little Sponge. Why do I keep calling it a sponge? It's a powder puff. And we're gonna bake all the way to the lip. Do the same thing on this side. And you're done. <laughs> all 
All right, so I'm just gonna use my Marc Jacobs concealer brush. There's nothing on it, and I'm just gonna kind of wipe off the bake from the side of the nose. See that? See how just like you can see it's already contouring? Um, so later I'm gonna decide if I wanna add like a little bit more contour or nah. I like to let this under eye area bake for about like a minute and that's it. But under here, I don't like this to bake very long because I feel like I see like a line or almost like it looks too white. Something about this part of my face, maybe it's drier, maybe it's oily, I don't know. But I don't like it to bake very long. So we're just gonna use the same brush I use for bronzer and just wipe that off. And there's a little bit of bronzer so it's gonna almost like darken it just a little bit. Snatched. Huh. Yeah, there she is. There she is. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. All right, so while we're baking, I'm gonna put a little bit of the Kat Von D medium brown brow powder. I could go darker because my hair is darker, but I kind of like the look of light eyebrows. Like, why not? Sometimes dark eyebrows can make you look like mean and angry, and I don't want angry brows. So we're gonna keep them nice and light. And I'm just drawing a line under the brow and then filling it in. And then we're gonna draw a line right on top to kind of almost like outline the brows and really just like give it shape. In this tutorial, I'm not like doing a full face. I'm, it's really all about the foundation routine, but I always do my brows while I bake and I just want you guys to see like how much time you need to bake. If you're really dry under your eyes, I would say bake for like a short period of time and if your eyes don't get dry, then, you know, the next time you wear your foundation, bake a little bit longer. Because before I used to not bake. I don't know, like, I think I, well, I don't think. I was just using the wrong products, I think. It made my under eyes look really dry. But now I got the key. And I'm giving it to you. So this is actually my first makeup tutorial in the new crib. Hopefully you guys can't tell a difference with my setup. Hopefully it looks the same, but... Yeah, it was a pain in the butt getting this together. All right, I'm giving all types of thick brows today. Like my brows every day just keep getting thicker and thicker and thicker. I don't mind it though. They kind of cute. Okay, so using the same brush that we applied Studio Fix with, I am gonna barely put my brush in the C6 Studio Fix powder foundation. And then we are gonna wipe off the bake. I mean, uh. And don't be alarmed if at first you're like, oh, it looks kind of light. Cause you can always add like a little bit of bronzer. I think I'm gonna add just a little bit of bronzer just on my jawline. All right, now I'm gonna go on with Studio Fix NW50 powder foundation. This is like a darker shade. This color can get like pretty dark. So sometimes I'll use it, you know, as a bronzer, sometimes I won't. Um, I think a few videos ago I used it as a bronzer. So I just wanna show you guys like different options. So we're just gonna put this at the deepest part of the cheek. See how like adding a dark color right here just really carves out your cheek, season 10 style. Mm, see that, see what's happening? Ooh, I almost forgot to contour my nose. All right, I'm gonna go in, even though I kind of feel like it looks fine. Yeah, let's contour a little bit so I can show you. So this is the Marc Jacobs Conceal Brush. I'm gonna dip it into Studio Fix. And starting at the brow, we're just gonna go all the way down. Almost following this bone right here, all the way down. Contoured. And you can just like brush your brows through right after. But I kind of feel like putting Studio Fix to your brows, it makes them look like a little more natural here. Cause I don't like my brows to be thick right here. I like them to look like hair and to just be like combed out and natural looking. All right, I'm gonna highlight with Chasing the Sun highlighter from Desi X Katie. Dosa Colors collab. Oh yeah, look at that. Whoa. Okay, did I just go crazy with the highlight? Uh-huh, I might have. Use your finger for your nose. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on the tip of my nose. And then I'm also gonna put it at the highest part of the, what is this, the bridge right here? Yes, she is snatched. I'm gonna add a little bit of color to my cheeks with Laura Mercier Pomegranate Blush. This has a lot of pigment, so just use like a little bit. And I kind of like to focus the blush like way back here. I feel like it really makes the cheeks look higher and kind of like more pointy <laughs> and just like a little bit more snatched. No, really they do. Like, I don't know. I just don't like putting a lot right here, especially when it has like this much pigment. I feel like I've like neglected my eyes today. Let me put a little bit of concealer up in here. I didn't even clean up my brows at all 
Typically I would, like right after I do my brows, I'll clean them up. So let's just clean these bad boys up. I'm not gonna wear any shadow today. I'm just gonna clean up the brows and like even out the eyelid, I guess, is what I'm doing. I'm gonna throw a little bit of the Guerlain bronzer with my crease brush up in here, just to give like a natural look to the eyes. I'm over here like neglecting my eyes. No, we need to put a little bit of bronzer up in here. I'm gonna put a little bit of C6 powder just on my lid. I always like to put a little bit of powder over concealer because I don't know, I feel like it might crease if I don't. Just a little bit. Ooh, natural, but like snatched. Mm -hmm, get that nose. Yes, foundation. I just love this foundation. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm gonna set my foundation, my makeup, everything with the All Nighter Spray from Urban Decay. Ooh, yes. This is the cherry scented. I think one time I said cherry flavored and someone was like, nah, cherry scented. I was like, okay, my bad, it's cherry scented. Ooh, but setting, especially if you have like combination oily skin, like me, well, it's more, it's like a combination because some areas I'm dry. This All Nighter Spray is like, Wait for this to dry. After you set your makeup, you may want to add like a little bit of translucent powder, just in areas that you want to be a little bit more matte. So I always do like my forehead and like right here around my nose. Cause sometimes it will leave a little bit of like a dewy look. And I, especially on my forehead, I need it to be matte. Okay. All right, I am gonna throw on some lashes, put on a lip and I will be right back and we can talk about this foundation look. All right guys, here is the finished look. I threw on some lashes, mascara, some lip. You know, you can see my foundation is nice and velvety and it's also matte and I'm also highlighted, I'm contoured. This is a routine, you guys. This is, this is my foundation routine. I hope you learned some tips and tricks. Don't forget the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Foundation it comes in 40 shades. So if you have trouble finding your foundation, definitely check it out. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the video. You know, comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And last but not least, strut and slay. Matte velvet skin. Mm. I'm still matte. I'm still snatched. Ooh, she looks good. Okay, baby hairs are late. Yes, yes, yes. Look at them all. No, that's not what I'm gonna do. Wait, no, we gotta bake. Huh. Oh, I look a little snatched right now. <laughs> Sisters, not twins. Wait, mm -hmm. I never thirsty. Mm -hmm. 